Good evening. Uh, this is Apostle Rasa Solomon, and this is Rasa Solomon's YouTube channel. And today, I think it's what is it, November 11th, I think, <laughs> 2022 or November 10th. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry I didn't do my videos. Um, I couldn't do them today, but I'm gonna be doing them before this weekend is out. <clears throat> and the Lord told me to give this word um, before I forget. Um, he told me that AMC, I mean, not AMC, um, Robin Hood was going to have some problems, but they weren't going to collapse or or fall fall like FTX did and like Celsius. Well, FTX fell harder than anybody, uh, right? But um, they're going to have some, I kept hearing acquisition and I don't even know what that means. I mean, I know a lot about stocks now from listening to other people and God, but the acquisitions, I'm not crazy about that. I mean, know much about that. But I hear um, he gave me the word acquisition when it came to Robin Hood, and they were going to have some troubles. Um, and then he, but but they weren't going to collapse or nothing. They're still good. Um, and he's and he then he kept telling me over oversold stocks oversold stocks like we're going to hear about something secret about robin hood when it comes to stocks i mean maybe they have hidden stocks or some fake stocks i don't know but we're going to hear something to that effect um then he told me to remind y'all four months ago or five months ago when i told y'all that uh, that that coinbase and binance was going to be one of the biggest platforms and then i saw uh kraken i think and um i saw genesis kraken and genesis not being as big as bitcoin and not i mean bitcoin by nights and coinbase but <clears throat> i saw them s straggling but they were going to stay they weren't going to collapse but they you know they they might have some issues too and they have, because I said I saw platforms getting hacked, and Binance got hacked twice already, right? Um, so, so I know uh, Kraken and uh, Genesis, they're going to survive, but they may have some issues if they haven't had them already. Um, and uh, you may hear of a few more platforms falling, but they're not going to be like big, big, big ones, you know? And it may be because they're connected to this F. TX, which God was trying to warn us about, but I didn't get it. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Um, and then I heard him say something about the coin called Solana. And um, he, he, like, I was looking at how cheap it was. I think it was like 14, 15 bucks. And I wasn't going to touch it because I kept hearing people say that coin was, was going to be no good, do, no, like another Terra Classic. But God told me to to get a couple of them. So I did get a couple of them because he told me that it was going to go back up, not without issues, but it was going to go back up. Um, and what else was it, Daddy? It was something else he wanted me to tell y'all. And I, I, I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it. Uh, you want me to tell you about the Robin Hood, Solana? Um. <clears throat> Um, oh, and um, he said that um, that 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 some some people will be happy before this year is out. Um, it depends on what you hold, coins, stocks. You know, I'm not a guru nor financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only, and I'm telling you as a visionary of God and a prophet what he's saying. Um, it depends on the coins you hold and the stocks you hold. Some people are gonna be very happy. As far as sheep is concerned, you know what, guys, that's up in the air because God says sh that coin has been delayed so many times, right? But it's up in the air. I mean, it's eventually going to do something because of the many dreams I've had and others have had. <clears throat> but it's no guarantee that it could that it'll do something this year. It it will be great that it will do something this year, but I definitely know next year it will do stuff even my brother in the lord his wife saw it uh, and on the news um in the winter months early winter months right so we could pray that it'll do something before this year is out but me i'm not focusing on she you know i never really did 
It's just God was giving me dreams about it, but I'm not really focusing on it because there's other coins out there too, you know, that you can invest in that will bring you some good profits to help you in life, right? So I'm not saying don't give up on, on the sheep. I'm just saying, you know, if, if you can invest in something, something more, something else, go for it. You know, just don't have all your eggs in one basket, you know what I'm saying? Because it may be other things that go before the sheep, you know what I mean? But it's eventually going to go, right? But if not before December's out, definitely next year, right? But so right now these coins are like pennies on the dollar, you know, and stocks are penny on the dollar. So if you got some extra money, pray and ask God what you should do with it because I ain't going to advise you on what to do with it. <laughs> I just came to tell you <clears throat> what God said. And... um. That was something else. I just cannot remember. I, if when I give the the word, like I'm giving a weekly word on my other channel, and um, devotional prayer, and then the uh, chronicle show, and then on this channel, I'm gonna put the chronicle show on there, and I, and I have um a harvest word. Well, I call it a harvest word. No, it's not asking for donations or nothing like that. It's just giving <clears throat> hearts work. Oh, and then, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, the Lord said that everybody who gave their first fruits, because you're supposed to give it by today, I think the 11th, right? Um, he said everybody who gave their first fruits, um, no matter no matter what it was he told you to give, uh, you will be, sh how did you say it, Daddy? You will be surely blessed in the year of 2023. And then he, then I pray. Then once he said that, I prayed over everybody who gave to this ministry. See, I'm responsible for this ministry, not nobody else's. <laughs> so I prayed that everybody gave to this ministry this year, no matter what you gave, whether it was 50 cent, a dollar, whatever, you know, um, you have gave. I prayed that y'all will all be blessed in 2023 financially that all the struggles that you've had this year financially you will not have next year because you were consistent sowers even if you sow once a month or twice a month or if you sow every week or if you sow a couple of times in the weeks um i decreed and declare over all of y'all that uh next year the financial problems that you could be having this year you will not experience them next year and that next year will be better then this year that God raises many of um, y'all all up. But the ones that gave the fruit seed, um, the Lord said that you, he will surprise you <laughs> next year. And he said some before this year is out, he will surprise you. And he said, make sure you fast at least for five days before December 31st for next year. And if you want to write down what you want him to do, or you just tell him, you know, and include your family and, you know, as, you know, as many as God leads you to include, you know what I mean? And, um, cause you got to fast before the year is out. You can't wait till next year. It has to be this year. Right. And, um, uh, just make it an initiative to get closer to God next year. Even though you may be real close to him now, you can we can always bear closer to him. So just make it an initiative that um, starting this year now that you're going to draw near to God, you're going to pray more, you're going to spend more time with him. No matter how busy you get, you know, you're going to start praying at different times of the day when you can, you know, you're going to switch it up. You know, try and pray during hours where not many people pray. Two, three, four o'clock, one o'clock, noonday, you know. And uh, add more people to your prayer list, your, your neighbors, your, even your enemies, you know. You just pray for them differently. <laughs> and uh, strangers, you know, and make sure you repent every day. One young lady on Instagram, she inboxed me. She was like, she was so thankful to me for, for me, you know, from God, because she didn't know she was supposed to repent every day. And the Bible says, die to yourself, die to your flesh. So you're supposed to repent when you wake up in the morning, especially 
anything you did in your dreams you don't remember because some people don't remember their dreams. You know, you're supposed to pray when you, uh, when you come home and pray. You're supposed to repent. And, you know, when you go to bed, you know, you, you're supposed to repent and, uh, you know, and break covenants and stuff like that. Because, you know, you meet people along the way during the day. You don't know them. Sometimes you do. You know, you don't you don't you, you don't want to bring covenants you shouldn't have made. And you also ask God to cleanse you when you come home for good. You're not going out no more. Ask God to cleanse you with the blood of your shoe and remove all other people fragments. Because, you know, we got fragments. Everybody fragments, you know. You got flesh, right? So just ask God to remove everybody's frag fragments off you or if any of them got in you with the blood of your shoe of Jesus. You know, um, wash, wash your the, the clothes and the blood you had on, the shoes, the purse, everything. And especially ask God to, to wash under your shoes because... I don't know if I know I know a lot of y'all remember in 2014 when I had when Periscope was here, I came and told y'all how God opened up my eyes to see all these demons in the sky. And then I looked on the ground and I saw all this nasty stuff on the ground. And, you know, for a long time I was taking my shoes off, but you know, we get complacent. <laughs> so what I do is now I just cover my shoes with the blood. And when I remember, I anoint the anoint the soles of my shoes, you know. So, you know. Start doing that stuff now, you know, so when 2023 20, come, you know, when you let people in your house, right, and if they don't want to take their shoes off, then you, you just tell them, you know, stand right there. I, I cover your, your shoes under your feet and stuff with the blood of Jesus. That way they won't be tracking spiritual nastiness <laughs> in, in, in your house. You know what I mean? And um, always cover your house in the blood, too, from the top to the bottom, right, left, underneath, and within. And always put fire in the walls, fire and in, 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 in coming out of the pipes, the toilets, the bath, bathtub, cover the, if you can, put a little oil on your mirrors in the house every, like, once a month, or spray it with some holy water, or just pray over it cover with the blood, because mirrors are big portals, spy portals. You know, so and then you could ask, or either you could just ask God to guard them, so nothing, you know, can come through. And always keep fire in your house. Put a, um, a seal around your house. If they, something try and break it, they go instantly pay for it. <laughs> Put the angels all around. You know, especially cover your roof and in your attic if you have a house. If you live in a complex apartment building, still cover that roof. And some complexes have, um attics and basements, you know, and if you got a basement, definitely cover that. Always cover your garage as well, your cars, the street, the community where you are, and the atmosphere and the sky and the spiritual realm. All right. And I have a lot of these prayers in my different prayer books on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. All right. So that's the end. Good night. Talk to y'all before this weekend is out with my videos and God bless you. And as always, take everything to the Lord. Shalom.